All right, in this video, we're going to talk about partitioning the total variability um, for the simple linear regression model. All right, so just as a reminder, our linear regression model right now is yi equals beta naught plus beta 1 xi plus some model error. All right, and when we go and we um, find our predicted model, y hat is the predicted value of y and we have our estimators b naught plus b1 times xi okay so when we go out and we have our data we have one regressor variable and one response variable so x and y all right and if you were to plot this data suppose it's just some random dots okay and if we were to come up with our regression line it might look something like this it minimizes the distance between our points and the line right and so this this pink line or red line is the predicted value of y okay, okay. so now thinking about our variability Okay, if we were to take each observation and subtract off the mean of y, right? So take each observation and subtract off the mean of y, that would tell us something about the variability of y, right? So take each observation and subtract off the mean of y, that's actually, that's called the total variability of the response variable. Okay, so if I were to sum these up from i equals 1 to n, right, and then square them, because I don't care about if it's a positive or a negative difference, but I just want to know the distance from the response variable yi to its mean. Okay, so this is called the total um, variability. in the response. All right, now recall that yi hat is trying to predict yi, right? So we also can calculate yi hat and the difference between yi hat and the mean of y, right? If we were to square this and sum it up for all the observations. This variability is called the variability that's explained by the model. Okay, so variability explained by the model. Right, because yi hat is the basically the predicted value by the model. Okay. Lastly, we, we could find the difference between our observed values and the predicted value, All right? This difference between the observed values and the predicted value, uh, we've referred to this in the past as the residual, right? And we've used this lowercase e, uh, and we've called it the residual. So the observed value minus the predicted value, right? And this was the residual, right? And so this is, and so when I sum this up from i equals 1 to n, um, and I square it to get rid of the sign, this is called the variability that is unexplained. Variability unexplained. Okay, and it turns out that the total variability equals the variability explained by the model plus the variability that's unexplained. Okay, and in the next video, I will show this proof. All right, but it, for right now, it turns out that this total variability equals the ex um, variability explained by the model plus the variability unexplained, which it do that does make sense, right? So uh, this 
is often called SS total. So the sum of squares total, right, because we're summing up squared terms, equals the SS regression, or REG, right, the sum of squares explained by the regression, plus SS residual, R-E-S, the sum of squares of the residuals. All right, and like I said in the next video, I'll explain this proof for why this is, this equation here is true, right? There is some math that goes behind why this is true, and I'll do that in the next video. But for right now, what's important that you understand is that this variability can be partitioned into so that we have the total variability on the left hand side of the equation and the variability explained by the model plus the variability that's unexplained on the right hand side of the equation.